Hey, hello, good evening, good morning, or indeed good night. <laughs> Whatever, ladies, gentlemen, children, muggles, and magicals alike, make ready your mental pathways. Bring forth the combatants and let battle be joined. Welcome to Geek Lord Overmind. <laughs> yes, last week here on the Rabbi's channel, we had a blast with our sort of nerdy sci fi geeky quiz. YouTube's only nerdy sci-fi geeky game show maybe i'm not entirely sure it's certainly the newest and we've had some great feedback so so far so we're back so if you didn't catch that the general sort of byline for all of this is have i got nerds for you there we go you get the general gist of it so yes it's um it's a game show it's a quiz show if you've ever sort of sat at home and you've played your part with your family or your friends and taken one another on this is us pretty much doing the same sort of thing with me, Dan Hadley, Birmingham's King of the Geeks and the anointed Question Master. Yet again, we've got two teams of two poised to do battle, just as the Orcs and the Elves have done in times past, or, or Christopher Lambert maybe, and his various immortal mates. But no heads are going to be lost over the next half an hour or so. Just a drop or two of sweat maybe a spot of dignity. <laughs> and uh, yes, it's all going to stretch out across four mind-bending rounds. Who are we going to bring in first? I think uh, I think it's time to bring in, and it's only right to uh, introduce the reigning Geek Lord Overmind, the present holder, Svila Bitkin, the rabbi. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm absolutely fantastic. And how's it been for you basking in this over the last seven well, days? You know, you know, it, look, listen. Here, what have here, you done? What have you done with the Geek Lord Overmind while it's been well, in your possession? You know, I, I've elevated it, obviously, because uh, yeah, it's me. Uh, I've done. I've done, also done unspeakable, <laughs> unspeakable things that we can't talk about. Uh, uh, yeah, the trouble. The trouble with. Um, being fantastic, being fantastic, as as I yeah. believe myself occupational to be. hazard. Yeah. The trouble with that is, you know, you just come to expect yourself to be fantastic at every at every opportunity, and so when 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 you don't like you know achieve uh, uh, you know uh, let's say a Herculean success, it, you get fantastic on this. So uh, so uh, if for me, how's it feel being a winner? Feels like every day of the week for me, baby. Let me tell you, <laughs> every day of the week. Oh dear! Yes, he has been unbearable, but this this time you've brought forth because this is the idea, isn't it? There's two team captains, and they're going to summon from the ranks people to stand by their side and defend. In this case, this title that's in your possession right now. So, would you like to tell us on the Elders of Zion who is your teammate this evening? Uh, you see, I'm I'm a believer. I'm a believer. If one argues from a position of truth. From a position of total truth, I am a believer. Yeah, yeah. And if one does all. that, they are they have an uh, you know an indef you know, an indestructible you know ring of steel around them. So I am brought for I am bringing forth from my uh, my flame of love. I am bringing forth <laughs> one or two warm splatterings of pleasure. Right, I am bringing and bringing forth truth. This truth is very ge God. very generous of you, Rabbi. It, very generous indeed. It is toss truth. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, good evening, Todd. Yes. Oh, he's smiling now, but it's not going to last long, is it? Oh, yeah. So, yes, welcome to Geek Lord Overmind. Welcome to the Elders of Zion. Have you ever been an elder before? No. Well, there you go. They're doing that <laughs> let's, hope he doesn't, let's hope he doesn't peak here. There's no it's, pressure. Uh, Obviously, the rabbi is defending the title this week. And you, second... It, 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 it actually comes being an elder. You actually get that little thing with it—a uh, a, a plaque. Uh, it comes with you free <laughs> with, your, with your first order of uh, Cialis. You know that's that, that's <laughs> why they give it to you. Oh, it's more, yeah. more sought after than one of those things, one of those silver things that YouTube give you with the big silver play button. Yeah, well, you can get those. You just got to get the subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talking about talk about subscribers. Let's bring forth the other team captain, Hot Foot from the TARDIS zone itself. He's got several TARDISes parked there, I understand. It's Noel Glynn. How are you? The, uh, the leader of Team Torchwood, aren't you, Noel? Welcome back. Here. You're I very game, stepping back into the breach. You, you're not going to take that sort of 1-0 score too much to heart. It's easily fought back from, don't you think, Noel? 
It is, it is. And considering that, you know, they moaned and complained last week. Yes, we know, did. Yes, yeah, we did. We yeah. did that. We did, uh, that. We did very well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It's the best bit of fun. I even said it to you on Twitter. It yeah, was. You were at one point. Really, you were a crook all. It was, it was but I'm here to win this week because we do need to bring it to one all because we can't have Rabbi having a 2 0 lead and getting a bigger head than he already has. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we're, we're getting into the fight. This It'll is what, like, this is what they want. This is what the yeah. punters want out there. Yes. So, uh, I think the next question, though, has to be who have you called forth to join Team Torch with this time? Well, you see, uh, I, 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 I had a good search around and there was only one person that I could bring on. And uh, it's a doctor, but it's not any any doctor. It's the real super doctor. So he's come all the way from Gallifrey to join us tonight. Is good evening, there? real super doctor. Oh. Are you in the, can, you, can you hear us in the surgery? You yeah, I can hear you. He's there, he's there. And where, where are you joining us from, real super doctor? Uh, real Scotland. Super- Scotland. 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 We really are stretched out. That's England, Ireland, Scotland, America, and Israel. It's, it's, you That's you don't brilliant. get this on the Eurovision Song Contest, do you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, have you seen the Have you seen the show before, John? Did you watch the last time? No, uh, I'm afraid I didn't. I was uh, in a way on holiday. You did, you'd be afraid, mate. Let me tell you. Be afraid. I'm not going to let myself in. in, 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 in <laughs> <laughs> in, many, in many respects, though, in, in many respects, ignorance is bliss. I sometimes yeah. find, but yes, you're gonna you're gonna find out pretty damn quick. Okay, oh. so we've we've met the teams, and now it's time to get down to business and find out amongst the these two teams who are the Aurax and who are the Tweakies. Biddy biddy biddy, remember Tweaky? Biddy biddy biddy. Yeah. That's what we're going to find out over the next four rounds. Okay. <laughs> This is how this one works. An opening round of questions across the team. So each team will answer a question in turn. They are allowed to confer with their teammates. And two points are up for grabs for each right answer. But if they get them wrong or they abstain, they they can't even summon a single answer, then it will get offered across to the opposing side who can steal a cheeky point. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Yeah, I am ready. Yeah, ready. Okay, I I think we've got to find out who's going to go first, haven't haven't we? So yes, I think we'll go with no heads or tails. Uh, we'll go uh, heads this time because I picked tails last week and I lost. It's heads. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, we'll go second. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. So this is to the elders of Zion. Then question number one. Are you ready, gentlemen? I'm ready. Ready. If you were a scutter, on which space vehicle Red would you Wolf. work? Jupiter Mining Corporation. That was quick. Okay, over to over to Team Torchwood. Right. Rock, le- rock legend David Bowie passed away in 2016, but he'd been first choice to play a villain in which sci-fi sequel, which was re- which was released the following year, in 2017. Oh, I'll give you that question again. Right. Rock legend David Bowie passed away in 2016, but he'd been first choice to play a villain in which sci-fi sequel, which was released the following year. <gasps> um, you, can, you can take your time. Oh, you, can, you, can, you, you can. You can confirm. What are you thinking? Uh, I was thinking. No, I'm. I'm totally wrong. Uh, Think back to 2017. 2017. Um, I just remember the screaming. The little the screaming. I will. I we could take a guess, of course. Yes. Yes. You, you, by all means. Uh, John, do you, do you have you any England at all, or will I just give shout out and answer 2017? So that's three years. The, only, th- the, the only thing I know about David Bowie, Starman, but that's about it. <laughs> right. I'm not looking okay, no. I will say. I'm going to say sci-fi movie. I'm going to say sequel. A, yes, you said it was a sequel. That's right. Do you mm. want the question again? Do you want the question no, again? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Avengers 
end game. No, it's a good stab though. Okay, over to Elders of Zion. Do you want to try and steal a steal a point here? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Okay, so okay, so this was you the uh Force Awakens of 2016, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Oh no. So it'll be after okay. that. What came, what came because everything seemed kind of rosy then. Um it couldn't have been Rogue One, him being Krennic. Let's, uh, let's, give you, let's give the question again. Rock legend David Bowie passed away in 2016, but he'd been the first choice to play the villain in which sci-fi sequel, which was eventually released the following year in 2017. Well, is that a sequel or a prequel? It's both, I guess. Mm. Uh, sequel. It's a sequel. No, no, I'm saying it's Rogue oh, One. I think I know now, but it's too late, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Todd, what, what movies came out in 2017? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm like, I say, I say, say, say influx just to go I'm to your phone. To, like, it's so weird. You have to rush for an answer. Whoa, uh, we're not going to get it, are we? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so look, I think we got to guess either Rogue One. Does Star Trek come out that year as well? You tell me. Does Star Trek Into Darkness come out that year? 2011 could have done. Come on, you're using the delay tactics that you used last week. Physical thinking. What do you want out of me? Uh, what do you think? I need. I need a big clock behind me. Don't we know? Okay, it's not Rogue One. one. But it told it's, you agree or not? Yeah. It's Rogue not one. Rogue One. It's not Rogue One. It, believe it or not, it was Blade Runner 2049. He oh, was, the, oh, he was in the frame of the day. That's what I was in the dead sequel. No, but we have to get our hand it over to Rad Boy. That's exactly what I was actually that's thinking. That's always today, the way, isn't it? You yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, this okay. This I remember. I totally back. forgot that even came out. <laughs> this question back to the elders of Zion. This is your question. If you wore a yellow and a black scarf, you'd be a, you'd be a member of which house at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? Yellow and black. That's uh, it's not it's not it's what's the, it for. It's not it's not uh, Slytherin. It's, it's the Badger one, right? Is 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 it Hufflepuff or or the, what's the other one called? Uh, Hufflepuff or, or, or oh, come on! Uh, the, 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 I can't remember. Come who on, you do go with that one, week, man. The, see, 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 the oh, the 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 sniffing at this one. I think it's the Hufflepuff, isn't it? I mean, wife is gonna kill me. I'm, I'm gonna say Harry Hufflepuff. Potter, <laughs> okay, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna say Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Correct. Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back to Team Torchwood. Back to Team Torchwood. Oh, that team Torchwood. Oh, that <laughs> Satan still working out. <laughs> <laughs> Says the rabbi. Okay. The Thank name. You <laughs> team Torchwood, this is your question. The name Skywalker isn't mentioned at all in just one Star Wars movie, but which one? Oh. Mm. Oh, I think that's odd. Oh, see, I have an obvious answer in my head. Was it the first one? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> Turn your own mic off, Rob. Don't help him. <laughs> I'm actually thinking Super John. I'm actually thinking Rogue One. That's what I'm thinking. Or it could be Solo. I don't think it's an old movie. Ah. Mm. It could be the could be the prequel, not prequel, sequel, prequel tri trilogy. Which one? The George Lucas one, the three that he did, uh, the, the Clone Wars, the other one, and the other one. Oh, damn, I don't know. Uh, I think it's, I think it's one of the newer movies. The uh, Phantom Menace? Oh. Well, what do you want to go with? Because I answered the last one, so I'll go with you on this one. What do you want to go with? Do you want to go with... I think I'll go with The Phantom Menace, because it was a, a separate movie. Yeah, but they did mention Anakin Skywalker. He said Skywalker. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like the question again there, John? No, I, I think it's Rogue One. No, no, I was going with Rogue One. You sure? Yeah, well, you're right. Like you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, good. that's the right answer. One. So, who, why did they mention uh, Skywalker and Solo? Uh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> 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 hey, my darling. 
Oh, I've just got the cards here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? He's got it's candy. It's just cool going. Mm. Oh, very very nice. Nice. I'm in the middle of a game show. How <laughs> I hope you win. You see them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a little, sorry. I'm not on the middle. Okay. Team okay. Lebeck. Okay. <laughs> that was that was that was team that was team torturous question. Okay, so back to the elders of Zion. Which 1984 children's fantasy film was based on a book by Michael Endy? I'm gonna guess Never Ending Story, right? That, means, that sounds like the obvious choice. Correct. It is okay. Fine. There you yeah, go. Well, nice. <laughs> right. uh, back to Team Torchwood. On which date does Phil Connors, played by Bill Murray, wake up over and over again in 1993's oh, film one. Groundhog Day? What day? Oh, what's the date? Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, the that's date. Not what oh, what's the date? Oh, I love this movie, but I forget the date. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Hold on. I'll narrow it down. Right, so it's near the end of the year, I reckon. So let me see. Halloween is. I'm actually gonna. Uh, I think it's. I think it's October. Uh, it's either the end of the year or the, or the end of October or the start of October. I think. Oh, I love this movie. I'll watch it. Yeah, and... I love this movie. Oh, oh, you know, you oh, me like this. Right, Super John, have you any? England on the date, or do you want me to take a guess? I, I'm sure it was the 31st. I'm not sure of something. No, no. no. It was 31st of October. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it... oh, over to the elders of Zion. Do you want to try to pick up a point here? That was incorrect. Ah. Uh, ah. Do, you know, do, do you know the month? Or, do you know it? Well, I don't. I know. I know, I know it's February. I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give you the question again, guys. On which date does Phil Connors play? By Bill Murray, wake up over and over again. Hey, wait, 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 down okay. Okay. I think it's uh, February because it's winter. Because they're he they're right. bringing him out like to see if there's going to be more winter or spring. Right. Oh, so, yeah. so it's, uh, I think it's March, isn't it? Maybe March. Yeah. March because yeah. I know it's right. Where winter is supposed to end and it's supposed to go into spring, and he's the one that determines you know if we get more winter or. So, so is it is it February 29th or March 16th or March 31st? What do you think? I'm thinking February for some reason. Okay, let's go for yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Mid March uh, is when. The, so let's go for February. Uh, I guess it'd be twenty eighth. Um, would it be twenty eighth? Yeah. Yeah, because there's some twenty. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it has to be February twenty. Is it February sixteenth yeah. or twenty eighth? I'm gonna say February twenty eighth. You were close. So it's, uh. Uh, it was February, but it was the second. No, oh, second. Second. This, there is, there this is your question. That, that was a good guess. Unlucky man. This yeah. is your question now, Elders of Zion. By which name? This is a this is a movie question. Sorry. By which name is Oscar Zarosta, Patrick Isaac, Norman Henkel, Emmanuel um, Ambrose Diggs better known? That's a lot of names. It certainly is. I'll give it. I'll give it you again. In yeah. in, in movies. By which name is Oscar Zarosta, Patrick Isaac, Norman Henkel, Emmanuel, Ambro Ambrose Diggs, better known? Oh, um, is it like a. Um, is it like the first letter? Oscar Zarosta. What's the third word with that name? Patrick. Patrick. Mm. No, okay, it's not that then. Here we go again. What is his name? Um, In movies, by which name is Oscar Sarosta, Patrick Isaac, Norman Henkel, Emmanuel Ambrose Diggs better known? It's. Oh, well, it's a tough one, this one. It's, it's, I don't know. Know. it's I, the last I, name of Diggs. I can't remember the actor, what the name he goes by. Um, Tay Diggs. Do you? Uh, I think it's Tay, I know there's a Tay Diggs. Do you, want, do you want me to get? I'll say say that. I'll say so that. It's the only one I can think of. Fine, Tay Diggs. Team Torch, would you want to have a try at that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you one. I'll give you one more time in no. movies. 
in movies right. by which by which name is Oscar Zarosta, Patrick Isaac, Norman Henkel, Emmanuel Ambrose Diggs better known? Oz. Uh, the Great and Powerful Oz. The Wizard of Oz. Ooh, that's, that's good. Correct. Well done, John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, oh, well done, point. And this is your question now, the uh, Team Torchwood. The script to which film sold to Orion Pictures for just $1 on the condition that the writer could direct the movie? Oh, oh I know this. Oh, Damn um, it. I can't buy I don't remember it, but... I, I've got I've got a funny feeling. So what's the name of the, the Orion Pictures? The Is script that? to which film sold to Orion Pictures for just one dollar oh, on the condition that the writer would direct the movie. Oh I I, I know I know what it is. Because when you said the writer direct the movie, uh back in those days, uh I think uh Sylvester Stallone actually tried to uh, flog his movie, but they wanted someone else to act in it, and he refused. So I'm going to say... I think you're right. I think you're right. That. I think it's Sylvester Stallone, and the, the name of the movie was obviously Rocky. Okay, that's I'm not... Wrong. That's not the right answer. Wow. Not the right answer. Right. Elvis, Elvis oh, of yeah. Zion, do you want to try for this? Yeah, of course we'll try. Uh, <laughs> do you want to see Star Wars? No, no, no. Uh, that's Orion. Orion. Oh, 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 no, he didn't write that. Uh, oh, no, often, no, I'll just say there's often clues in these questions. So you know, Orion Pictures, it's uh, that's. Oh, no way. I'll give you the question one more time. The, the script to which film sold to Orion Pictures for just $1 on the condition that the writer oh, would direct it. I'm so confident it was Rocky, though. As a. As a, it's a, um, we can't answer Super John. We lost right, okay. I just heard this. Uh, oh. Rock, Rocky was sold to United Artists, if you remember. Right. Okay. Was it? Um, oh. I'm just saying that Rocky really logo melting into different movies. Like, no, it's not that one. No, it's not that one. No, it's not was that one. It <laughs> was it the guy who did direct uh, Reservoir Dogs? No, that was bad. That was uh, Weinstein. That was uh, you got that? it. Su submit your answer, and I will tell you whether it's right or wrong, gentlemen. Um, what is it? I'm gonna say start. It was a Ryan, a Ryan. What, oh, Ryan. what game about Total Recall, maybe? Mm, interesting choice. Yeah, that was a I Ryan. Know, I know it turned out to be a famous director now that he did, and it. That was his first picture, and that was his. And way it wasn't in. Back to the We've future, heard, we have heard the, the story. I dare say you people in the chat have probably heard this story over and over again. We've all heard the story, but who mm -hmm. who was it? So that, shall we say shall we say Total Recall? Is that his first movie? No, he did Robocop before that, didn't they, Paul Verhoeven? Um although I'm gonna say I'm gonna say, yeah, let's say Total Recall. What do you think? Sure. That's, I can't uh, I stop into Total Recall. Um, I'm no. afraid not, guys. Although you were in the right kind of ballpark, it was an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, but it was the Terminator. James Cameron oh, sold no. the script. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Yes, Orion yeah. Pictures for just oh, one dollar. Yeah. He, oh, he was living in his car on a motel right. car park at the time, and he sold that script for just one dollar if they would let him direct because he'd had wow. that massive failure with directing Piranha the, the two the spawning. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so that was Perfect. yeah. Okay, so where are we? We are at. You want the scores. At the end of round one, the scores are presently Team Torchwood. They have three points, but in the lead with six points are the Elders of Zion. <laughs> yeah. And here we are, yes, with round two. You don't get time to spit on Geek Lord over mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's round... <laughs> oh, it's, it's tickled, tickled by that one. We've tickled Todd. Yes, uh, there's three points up for each of these. This is the picture round again. So there's this three points... Oh, there's this three is points for each 
question, but this time it's gadgets and gizmos. Okay, so it's a slight, mm. slight different to, slightly different to last time. Three points up for each one. So what I'm going to show you is a picture of a famous gadget or gizmo from film or TV history. Right, and what I what I need from you guys, mm. I want the name of the device and the show or film that it's from. Uh, oh, are, are we clear? On mm. this so far, now I'm going to show you three images. Now you'll get if you if you get it from the very first picture, you get your three points. But uh, if you don't get it, then that's the chance for the opposite team to steam in. That's their one chance to steam in there and and take those three points. Nice. Now, if you, nice. if nobody gets it at that point, then yeah, we go to we points. go down to a two point question and then a one point question with the final picture. So yes. Oh, right. we ready, everybody. Let's Team Torch for an Elves of Zion. Ready. Uh, who wants to go first? Let's have a think. Let's, uh, let's, who's who's with the – yes, we the leaders. Elves of Zion, you get to choose. Do you want to go first or second? Do you want to go first or what do you think, Todd? It's up to you. Ah, uh, let's go Good first. Way. Okay. It's always, uh, whatever okay. I choose, always a mistake. Cue, <laughs> the first, cue the first picture. Oh, yes, me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fine. Okay, can you tell me? Can you tell me that gadget or gizmo? What's it called? What is it from? Oh, it looks yeah, like yeah. 1960s. So I'm gonna say it's a uh, from a James Bond movie, kind of lighter, maybe. It's a no, no, I got it. The oh, Holly Hop Drive from Red Dwarf. You can confer on this one. Todd, is it the Holly Hop Drive from Red Wolf? I'll go with you, yes. Is that your final answer? I, yeah, that's our answer on this one. All right. What? Yes! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Please remove the picture. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, well, so three points. Mercy me. Up. To the elders of Zion. That, that really that is that was impressive work. Okay, Team Torchwood, this is your question, your question, your picture. Sorry, are you ready? What the hell? Wow. Oh, wow. so what? Wow. Okay, that's tough. What? That's tough. That is tough. Right. I think I know what it is, believe it or not. And I think it's no, John. I think I know what this is. I, 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 because I've I've watched the show and this just looks similar to what I've seen, and it's dark. So if if you have any ideas, then let us know now. If not, I'm gonna guess what I think it is. Um, some from Stargate. <clears throat> I don't know. Right, well, I'm thinking that this is from actually Lost in Space, and that's the new robot design. Because this looks like uh, a new star. Well, it could be. But in saying that, it could be a ship in space as well. Um, and that's what's kind of thrown me off a little bit. But that's what I think it is. I think it's the robot out of Lost, the new updated version of Lost in Space. That's what the, I think. Uh, the, I'm uh, totally wrong because it's a horrible image to be honest with you. But, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, clo clobbering times in the chat. Obviously, I can see the chat, but the but the uh, the combatants in the arena they can't. And we've got yes, clobbering times as it looks like a dark blobby mass. Thanks for that clobbering time. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people taking a punt here, but uh, yes, do you want to have a quick? Quick guess on this. The elders of Zion, this is your one chance to steal. Those oh, okay. Points. It's not that. What, 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 what do you say again? Oh, the uh, Roman in space. It could be the exhaust from the Val Kilmer Batmobile. Or from a Batmobile. What do you yeah, think, well, Todd? Which one? You have to give which one. You have to be specific here. Now, I well. do. Well, that's a whole new rule. Would that be suffice? No, you, you, uh, if, oh, yes, oh, yes, that, that would suffice. Yeah, that would fine. suffice. Um, so, shall we say the Batmobile? Yes, the Batmobile, Batmobile. Well, yeah, okay. TV show, In, I nearly saw to apply which movie, which movie was the, the Batmobile. That's that's not that's now come incorrect. On. So, this is right. Okay, this goes back to any Batmobile. No, yeah, I this just gave you a favor and wipe them all out of the board for you. 
So this goes back to this goes back to Team Torchwood. This is this is for two points. Tell us what this is. Oh, wow. I know what it is. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Going well, isn't it? Is this from a TV show as well? It can be from a TV show or a film, or it can be from uh, either. Really. Oh wow! It looks like. Uh, well, I could be wrong. It could be um, the Time Lord Space Station and Trial of a Time Lord, but yeah, it looks like the kind of you know the the kind of uh, entry point where the TARDIS comes down. Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. I haven't a clue anyway. So okay. And uh, so we're going to go for the one point. Here's your. Uh... What you want? Nah. <laughs> I knew what it was. Yep. Too much more done. The Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> well, you actually see it now. That that, that was loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could you could with the you could with the earlier one as well. Uh, yeah, okay. the last yeah. image I knew what it was. Okay. The first okay. image though, you couldn't have. There was no way you would have. That come was a it. tough one. That was a tough one. Yeah. Okay. Please remove the uh, remove the picture. Oh, probably, yes. I keep forgetting. I'm 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 doing them on circle. Which one is it? <laughs> uh, is it this one? There you go. Okay. Yes. Hope we're feeling confident, everybody. We're enjoying this so far. Got the measure of it. <laughs> this is a big yeah. round. This is a tough one. <laughs> yeah, is it, no, tough, it's is it tough. tougher than the last one? <laughs> uh, no. Last one was terrible. Should I put it up? Uh, yes. If this is yours, Elders of Zion. This no. is your second picture. This is gadgets and gizmos. Remember, I'd like you to tell me what this is. It looks very Where's much like a nipple. I, I just, let's just put this out. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first. That's the first Freudian thing I'm seeing. Okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> and we've got people in the chat. Problem being, he's laughing this week. You weren't laughing last week, my friend, were you? <laughs> no, no, sir. Gadget. <laughs> Good to have you back. <laughs> this is uh... a. <laughs> This looks like Blade Runner when they're looking at the uh, DNA of the, the snake scale. This not fish the scale, this snake scale. Uh, what the hell is that? And it's a gadget or a piece of technology. Hmm. Uh, so I'm going to make a guess. It's always worth a guess for those three points, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to make a guess. So do you have anything you want to guess? No, I can't. I don't can't figure out what that is. It's a uh, piece of technology. It's the and um, it's not this. I know, but it's the tree root testing thing from Flash Gordon that uh, uh, what's his name, James Bond, Timothy Dalton makes Duncan. <laughs> what's their <laughs> name is from Blue Peter put his hand in. As you can get, that is that is wrong. But is I'll, wrong. I'll, offer it, I'll offer it back to Team Torch. Would you want to try and steal three points with a guess? Uh, well, maybe you know. I don't, I'm not so sure about it. It's um, gadget, gadgets and gizmos from film or TV, remember? I mean, i got another guess now, but I don't think it's right. But... Well, at least, at least you get to pull out a little bit on the next one. Is uh, it... Uh, um, Thor's hammer. Ooh, that's good. It's a good. That's good. Be, not, yeah. not right. Back yeah. to back to the elders of Zion for your two points. Okay. Any idea what this is? Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a weed pipe. <laughs> it's a big weed pipe. Um, ah, what is that? Gadgets. Oh, and I think I know. No, can't Gadgets be. and gizmos. Uh, nah, that can't be it. Lord of the Rings. No. <clears throat> Could be the bow from Lord of the Rings, I guess. Yeah, should we say? Uh, I was just thinking of Lord of the Rings too. I was thinking maybe Gandalf's staff. Could be. Yeah, that's it's, good. Let's go with that. Let's go with Gandalf stuff. It's, it's you're along the right lines, but I'm gonna have to go to your your one point. You'd recognize what that is. Oh actually I really don't. Whose is that? From is um, that from Harry Potter? Hold on, I know this. Just give me a second. I have no idea what that is. 
Sadly, even if Team Torch would do know, they can't steal a point at this junction. I'm afraid, does anybody in the chat, does anybody in the, in the chat recognise this? I thought somebody would definitely get this. You got Elves of Zion? Do we not get a guess, no? No, 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 you only get a guess at the three point, at the three mark. Okay, I'm going to say something from Harry Potter, maybe? You're you're along you're along the right lines, but no, I'm afraid not. It is Mr. Pointy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The uh, stake. Her well, prior profession. Oh. Yeah, wow. We are. Yeah, not, please, not please pull out the stake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I, I thought somebody would get that one. Now it's this one is the final one. You'd be pleased to learn. And it's back to Team Torchwood. Team Torchwood, what's this? Oh, I know what that is. That's uh, the. It was in the, the day of the doctor. For three uh, points. The, the... No, this is for three points, and you can confer. Sorry. It was in the the day of the doctor. It's the the box. Um... Oh yeah. But... The moment. The moment. The moment. Uh... Yeah, I bet you're right. Hey. Oh, oh, hold back. Hold back. Hold back. Yeah. Well oh, done. Oh, my brains there there from you go. <laughs> right, really darn impressive. I think I think you squeezed ahead head there, didn't you? What, what was the score? Yeah, it was, it was a bit. <laughs> nah. Back yes, there, there we are. There. We're at the end of round two. There was, God, you could really smell the tension then, even, even through the magic of the internet. And you're, yes, the rabbi has just said he fears that Team Torchwood have pulled back. But here are the scores. Team Torchwood... <laughs> Have seven points, but in the lead still are the elders of Zion with nine points. <laughs> Whatever next after all that? <laughs> are you, how are your brains feeling, gentlemen? Have they turned to yeah, the journey? Yeah, I'm actually a bit rattled by that picture around because I did so well last that week. Around that picture around so hard. Yeah, it was a tough bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, are things going to get nastier or nicer for round three? Well, yes, Elders of Zion, you're in the lead, and the leaders do get to choose. You get a pick of two categories, if you oh, remember. Oh, crap. This is what we put <laughs> up last week. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What has the chat got to say about all this? Oh, just lots of people, lots of people saying hello to one another. Oh, people having a good guess at those pictures. And uh, yes, plenty of people got that one right too. Well done, everybody. But yes, uh, you can choose which category you want. Category A, which is entitled Running, mm. wa running Wild. Or, right. categ or, or Category B, Rabbi. Remember, this is your choice, Rabbi. Category A is Running Wild. Or Category B which is called Seasonal Lions. Seasonal what? Seasonal Lions. Seasonal Lions. And there are two points. I'll just remind everybody while well, you're deciding. Yeah. There are two points on yeah. offer for every correct answer here. But mm. if the team gets it wrong, it does get offered across. I have to say, see, when right. you say Seasonal Lions, I get excited because it sounds cool. <laughs> I like Christmas. I like it. That big gun. But the running wild, running wild. Well, I think running wild, which is all oh, I always choose wrong. Running wild, what do you think, Todd? Or seasonal lines? Um, let's go with running wild. Running wild, running wild. Yeah. Running free. wild. Actually, these these don't get offered across. I, I made that same mistake last week. These these don't get offered across, but they are either or answers, gentlemen. So yes, this is this is running wild. That's that was what you said, wasn't it? Which right. of these? So what I want to know from you, elders of Zion, which of these two movie trilogies had the longest collected theatrical runtime in minutes? Theatrical runtime. Theatrical. So I'm going to tell you again before we get into them. Okay, okay. there's going to be six. There's going to be six questions, and these don't get off offered across. Ooh. But they're for two points okay. each. I want you to tell me which of these two movie trilogies had the longest collected runtime in minutes, but it is their theatrical releases. So you probably have an idea of at least one of the sets of films. I'm going to ask you about. Are you ready? Are you okay. confident? Are your brains? They starting to solidify again. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is your first pick: the Lord of the Rings trilogy or the Hobbit trilogy. No. Oh, oh, Hobbit wow. trilogy will be longer. Hobbit trilogy is definitely longer. It certainly, see longer. Must be more indulgent. I might guess the Hobbit. What do you think? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean theatrical release, theatrical, yeah. Because people were expecting longer release. I'm going to say Hobbit trilogy. And that's yeah. incorrect. It's actually the Lord of the, Ri oh. Lord of the Rings trilogy was five hundred and fifty was still five hundred and fifty eight minutes long, but the Hobbit trilogy, which did seem longer, clocked in at four seven four minutes. Oh god, it was oh, agony, question, wasn't it? it did a seem question. longer. It did say it did seem a lot longer. There was nobody more surprised than me to find yeah. that one out. Question number two. Here we are. Which of these two trilogies had that longest collected runtime in minutes? The Star Trek Genesis trilogy. Or the JJ Star Trek Universe trilogy. I, I'm going to guess the JJ trilogy because it's a, their worst movies and they're more <laughs> indulgent. Whereas, like the but the, the Genesis well, trilogy, well, you do know you have a teammate. I can't, can you think of any fat on any of those three movies? Any scene that you go, yeah, I'm not going to live without. No, you want every every no. one of them scene. JJ movie. All those scenes, you're like, yeah, but yeah, I don't have to leave that, lose that, lose that, lose that. But, but, to confer, gentlemen. But is is it like uh, so much thinner of a plot? They're just intrinsically short. How do you allow this, moderator? Yeah. He has to give an answer. He can't be going on. I, a I, this is my they're, they're allowed to. They're allowed to confer and work it out between them. So he's not confirming. He's but time, jabbering. But time, <laughs> but time, this is but time is. Thinking. Okay, fine, okay. fine. Uh, no, no, tells people off for okay, talking. I'm going to go, go what I think is right, but I'm probably wrong. That'll yes. be the JJ trilogy if Todd agrees. What do you think? JJ, JJ yeah. trilogy? I'm going to have to rush. This yeah. has to be a final answer, and you are correct. It is the JJ movies. Question yeah. number three. Question well, well, number well, three. Hey, Richard... wait, wait, one second. I'm going to ask you to interrupt for one second because uh, uh, Cole from Mary Boys just showed up. Cole's going to be with, with, with us on the next show. We're going to be recording. Uh, right after this, so uh, Cole, you, you, you okay? Hang out for a bit while we finish off Geek Lord over my side. Yeah, yeah, hi, hi guys. You, how get, you, you get to you get to bask in all of this and, and get to sort of adjudicate if there's any. Yes, you can tell us. Oh, yeah, if we need the adjudication, we'll go to Carl. Question number three <laughs> I want you to tell me which yeah. was the longest that longest collected runtime minutes the Back to the Future trilogy or the Bill and Ted trilogy. Oh. Hmm. Good That's one. The freshly oh, minted gee. Bill and Ted trilogy. You can't say out and John. Right. No, no, this oh. isn't your this isn't your round yet, gentlemen. You have, back, you have right. back to the not sure on Bill and Ted because I haven't seen the third one yet. I've seen it, but it's also forget they're about they're all about an hour and a half each. I mean, they're both like it's so totally disposable. I think there's more meat on the Back to the Future movies. Back to the Future, then yeah, yeah. And I think so. I think just going to Back to the Future. Correct. Right. Next yeah. question on the slide. I want you to tell me which it has that longer collected runtime in minutes, the Dark Knight trilogy. That's the Christopher Nolan Ooh. Batman movies, of course. Right. Or the or the new Planet of the Apes trilogy. Which of those two trilogies has the Ooh. longest collected oh. runtime? Oh, it's gotta be the, the Dark Knight trilogy, right? Yeah, I think the Dark Knight. Like, can I put another twenty minutes in? Um by, by the way, I uh, I mean it's not very Batman y, <clears throat> but I, I think the um <laughs> was it that 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 was it? Batman Begins. It, other than not being very Batman, is the best Batman movie. Best cinematic Batman is of course the Ben Affleck Batman. So I'm gonna say I I, I think uh, the Dark Knight trilogy is the longest. Uh, Dark Knight trilogy or the uh, Planet of the Apes? I'm gonna say Dark Knight trilogy. Dark Knight, yeah. That's incorrect. It's the Apes oh. trilogy. The the Dark Knight movies they uh, they came to three hundred and seventeen minutes, but the, the Apes movies, those three latest Apes movies, they came to three hundred and seventy five minutes, all in all. And your oh, final wow. question, your final question, Elders of Zion, in this round, I want you to tell me which is the longest collected runtime in minutes between the three Cornetto trilogy or Kevin Smith's Jersey trilogy. That's Clark's more rats and chasing Amy that make up that trilogy. My so guess the, the my three guess. Cornettos trilogy, which is which is the uh, my Ed, uh, Edgar Edgar Wright Peg and Frost films. World's yeah, my, my, end, my, 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 my guess there is uh, Cornetto. Yeah, I think so too. And that is also correct. Oh, yes. Well done, everybody there. Well, I mean, the world's end was a long enough movie by itself, so it right. had to win them. <laughs> Here we go. And, we basically that... have to get every single one right, Super John. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, yes, so yes, here we are, Team Torchwood. This is your category. It's called Seasonal Lions. And I want you to tell me of these two TV shows or sets of TV shows. Right. I want you to tell me which one ran for the longest number of seasons. Seasons. Oh, right. oh I can right. uh, That's the easier one. So which of these two TV series or sets of series right. has ran for the more seasons? Are we both ready? Johnny, you ready? Are you with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're ready. Man. So Let's do this. All of Doctor Who, new and classic. Right. Or The Simpsons. <gasps> oh. Oh. Right, oh, the has been going for 20 something years. Doctor okay, this Who. Is easy. Be quiet. <laughs> <You're not laughs> hey. No taunting the opposition. Uh, I'm not taunting. Winners. I'm like, I'm astounded. I'm like, I'm clutching not, my fist. No, 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 because no, it's it. it 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 <laughs> because uh, the Simpsons also did the, hold on, because the Simpsons also did two movies. And if you keep it up, I'm going to ask the moderator to mute it. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. I'll say this. Uh, 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 it's my turn. See, you're wasting I'm asking the question. Let's, 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 right, just, clar let's just clarify what I... Let's just clarify for Team Torchwood what I asked them. Yes. Which of these two shows, two sets of TV shows, ran for the longest number of seasons? And the movies aren't in the equation. Right. So, basically, you want to know classic and new who combined versus The Simpsons. Ah. Yeah. Right. So, with that said, we've got new animations coming out as well. We've got to take that into account the fact that those two Simpsons movies, as well as the 20 odd seasons of The Simpsons, and that's been running consistent. Doctor Who actually took a break, a hiatus, whereas The Simpsons hasn't. What do you think, Super John? Yeah, I think The Simpsons. Is that your final answer, guys? Yeah, I'll go with John. Yeah. I think it's The Simpsons. It's actually Doctor Who at 38, and The Simpsons has run to 32 what? seasons. Oh. Uh, uh, here's question number two. I want to tell me which of these two shows ran for the longest amount of seasons, Mork and Mindy oh, or Third Rock from the Sun? Mork and Mindy was the late 70s, yeah, early 80s was, sitcom was, that brought was, Robin Williams to Mindy. fame. And third, Rock from the Sun was the sh the 90s, the popular 90s sci-fi show. Yeah, actually, it was on Yeah, I remember that. Um, so two points. I'm leaning more towards toward Rock. But what do you think, Super John? I was thinking Mark and Mindy. Right, well, go on. You can choose this one. Go on. Um... To think, um, because <clears throat> uh, if it was, I, I remember if Mark and Mindy started in the seventies, uh, I can remember it uh, well into the the early eighties. Um, I would say Mark and Mindy, but I might be wrong. But... That's the final that... answer, Dan. I said I'd go with John. It's incorrect. It's third rock from the sun. That ran for ah. six seasons. More committee ran for four. Back to the 1960s now, guys, on Team Torchwood. The Saint or Danger Man, which of those ran for the longest amount of seasons? Wow. That's a tough one. That's oh. a tough one. Right. I'm just going to – I think it's The Saint. Yeah, I think it's The Saint. Correct. The Saint ran for six seasons with Danger Man running for four. Into the into the more recent past now, I'd like you to tell me which of these two shows ran for the most seasons. The Lone Gunman or Danger Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. Never seen any of them. Never seen them. So that's no. the X-Files the spin-off, The Lone Gunman, or Dollhouse, which starred Elisa Dushman. They're both shit, and I know the answer. <laughs> They're both horrible shows. Every My turn, Rabbi. I go with Dollhouse. <laughs> That's correct. Dollhouse ran for two seasons yeah. and Lone Gunman only clocked up the one. And your final question in this round, I'd like you to tell me which of these two classic shows ran for longer right. in seasons. Again, Mission Impossible or The Man From Uncle? Oh, I love both. Mm. Okay. Well, I think The Man From Uncle. 
see, I, I um, you are allowed to confer. You've got you've got a couple of minutes. See, I think it's Mission Impossible. Oh, this is hard. I hate when uh, it's when, hard. when we go come up wrong. But John, again, I will let you go with the final answer on this one. I'll uh, go for the the man from Uncle. Is that the answer you're giving give me, guys? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's it's incorrect. It's Mission Impossible. Uh, ran for seven seasons with the man from Uncle, running to four. Okay, so we have. Let's just tot up those scores. That is the end of round three. And here we are, still trailing, I'm afraid, is Team Torchwood with 11 points, while the Elders of Zion are in the lead with 15 points. Hear them cheer for me! <laughs> the suffering, the suffering is near. The suffering is nearly over, everybody. Everybody in the chat, how are we? How are, are we enjoying? Let's just take a look and see. Oh, there's plenty of people got it right, but people were taking all sorts of punts and uh, yes, offering points to one another as well in the chat because we do. Yes, we've got a live audience recording this. That we should say that, shouldn't we? Geek Lord Overmind is recorded in front of a live chat. Audience, there we are. Wow. <laughs> don't go anywhere because we're going to need you for the next show. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, uh, it's an improvisation show. You're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to give suggestions. The first round, I'm just going to be a quick preview. First round, you're going to, uh, you're going to suggest a genre and an age range. And myself and my guests, we've got to pitch you a comic book series or book or one shot that meets that criteria. I sucked ass at it last week. I sucked <laughs> ass at it last week really, really, really hard. And I, th and I thought like 30 different better answers as the week went on. So that, that, that was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, so that's the first what's thing we're going to be here what's for. What's the show called now, Rabbi? For, for... The show is, we, we just rebrand. You're going to see when the, when the new titles come up. It's the big comic book pitch. The big comic book pitch. It was called Comic Book Improv. Now the big comic book pitch. I think it's a better title. Uh, I Because that's why I made that. Executive, yeah. decision, executive decision. So, uh, that's round when, when, when you're when you're trying to say that, you don't want to slow your speech. You don't want to try and say that after you've had a couple of drinks, do you? No, that's probably true. That's probably true. But <laughs> yeah. I always sound like I've had a couple of drinks. Uh, round two, you suggest an existing character that we have to like pitch you like a year's worth or something like, like that. Mm -hmm. And round three, you suggest a an existing universe, and we got to pitch you an original thing within that existing universe. So don't go away because we need you in the chat to suggest stuff. Okay, so get ready. Because that's going to happen after this round. Did we, we play for round? Did I play the round four there, I think? Just imagine another show from the mind of Sweet the King. God, I can't say your name. No. Just, just imagine all the places that's going to go, all the fantasy realms. You're not going to want to miss that. What's just it called again? The big, the big comic book pitch. There we go. Okay, so round four of Geek Lord Overmind. We are nearly there, everybody. These are questions for both teams, but this time there's no conferring allowed. I'm going to offer a question to each of our four combatants in turn. They're not allowed to confer with their teammates. There's two points for the right answer. Yeah, and interruptions, interruptions, right? I know I'm after interrupting you there, but if any of the team interrupt each other when they're trying to answer questions, <laughs> they got a point. Yes, and this is a timed round. We are working to a time limit here, so we'll be moving fast. It's what they call sudden death. Yeah, come on, right, come on. Two points for right answer. I'm going to ask you again, leaders, do you want to go first or second? So heads or tails? We'll, we'll go first. No, you said heads or heads. Head. Heads. <laughs> Look, he's already jumped in the gun. <laughs> it's, We're going down in this round, mate. We're going to our back. It is actually tails. So, Noel, do you want to go first or second? We I will mean, go first this time, actually. I mean, yeah, okay. Up to them. <laughs> okay. Are we ready, gentlemen? Yes. Thunderdome. Watch, I'm going to get the hardest question. Ever <laughs> this one. So we're going to we're going to start. We're going we're going to start with you, Noel, and round starts now. In which Tim Burton movie do the aliens' heads explode when they hear a track by Slim Whitman? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Correct. Rabbi, which slip was which slip which ship was destroyed in 2122 when its reactor was set to self-destruct by warrant officer Ellen Ripley? That'll be the Nostroma. 
Correct. John, the spice planet Arrakis is better known as what? Oh, um, no idea. Sure. Can I steal? No. I steal? No, no stealing <laughs> in this one. It's. I'm afraid it's known as Dune. This is over to you, Todd. Kate Kestrel and Tiger Ninestein were characters in which Jerry Anderson created TV show? Ooh. Oh. There was no conferring on this round. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Couldn't they give me the no, doing one? <laughs> Put you on that question. We'll give you that question. This is disgraceful behavior. We'll give you that question again. We'll give you that question again. Yeah, Kate, yeah, Kate, yeah. Kate Kestrel, Todd, and, and Tiger Ninestein were characters in which Jerry Anderson created television series. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> And I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to I, rush I'm you now. He doesn't. He doesn't know. Hello, no, my back to the has failed me. It's terrible. Back, Bloody hell! Back to you. Back to you. <laughs> no. Back to you. No. In in 1977, Star Wars, which character speaks the very first word, uh, line of dialogue? Ah, oh, for God's sake, man! <laughs> uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Two uh, points uh, uh, for how many points? For two points in 1977's oh, original oh, Star Wars oh, film, which ah, oh, come on, man, be fair. Because if you talk, I can't concentrate. Uh, the first person to have dialogue in Star Wars is the music comes in, having the clue. I'm just gonna guess, and I'm just gonna say, "Feckin' Darth Vader." It's incorrect. it's incorrect. It's C-3PO. That's back to you, Rabbi. Which super space detective was played on TV by Paul Greenwood and Richard Morant? Can you say that again? I'm sorry, I was talking over you. Which super space detective was played on TV by Paul Greenwood Captain and later Zep. Richard Morant? That's Captain correct. Zep. Captain Z. Captain Zep. Back, to, back to you, John. In the animated series of Star Trek, we meet an earlier captain of the Enterprise. What's his name? Oh... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Why do you keep it's, giving him the questions I know? It's Captain <laughs> Robert. It's Captain Robert April Todd, played played on TV by Henry Cavill. We know him as the Witcher, but what's the character's full name? No idea. No, that's Rabbi's question, isn't it? Because you got that question, you got question wrong. Oh, you better hope it's not. Because no, I, no, I, Todd, I, no, I know the. No, okay, I know Todd, the doesn't John, the question about I got confused. Who was that? Whose question was that? I got that was, that, was to you, that was to you, Todd. Oh, sorry. Say that again. It played on TV by Henry Cavill. We know him as the Witcher, but what's the character's full name? Oh. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. I played the video game, but I didn't see the ser the series. It's yeah, it's. Really. Okay, it's, it's Geralt of, R of Rivia. Yeah. What, yes. Back to you, Noel. Brendan was the nephew of which popular Doctor Who companion? Brendan was the nephew of which Doctor Who companion? Brendan. Why am I going blank on Doctor Who? Brendan. The only one that I know is Brendan is the top. No. Hold on. I don't know Brendan either. Doctor Got to rush. We run out. I know. Time. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the the the, the doctor. No, it's Sarah, it's Sarah Jane Smith. Back oh, to the no. rabbi. The, uh, oh, the, oh, yeah. the island oh. island Nubla is the location of what? Island island what? Sorry. The island island Nubla is the location of what? I guess the Amazons from Wonder Woman. Incorrect. It's Jurassic Park. Um, John, which cartoon scientist's catchphrase is wubba lubba dub dub? Yeah. Oh. Scientist. Um... Which cartoon scientist's catchphrase is wubba lubba dub dub? Come on. Hey. Okay. Trying to think. Um... Oh, oh. And. And I'll leave you can answer that one. We've yeah, run I'm out of sorry. time, but give me an answer if you've got one. It's Rick Sanchez in Rick and Morty. Well done, Rick! everybody. Let's check. It's oh, oh, painful, painful. And that is the end of the quiz. That's it. The Chris Chibnall 
Honorary countdown clock has time to say it again. <laughs> Are you ready to hear those final scores, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> They're oh, exhausted. They listen, listen to this. I'm yes, uh, yes, for the next uh, next segment. Sorry. Yes. So, sadly, Team Torchwood have uh, have uh, legged the idea with 13 points, but our winners tonight again with 19 are the Elders of Zion. Yes. <laughs> Let's give them a few seconds to say <laughs> for that. Of what you're here, we're doing. <laughs> Fired. Well, <laughs> well played, everybody. How did we enjoy that in the chat? Let's see how that went. Oh, oh this, I, the chat now. I haven't seen it for ages. I, I wish oh, the oh. chat. I wish the clock would run out. They oh, say hello, ten points. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yes, people are vastly irritated. Chris Persia, he couldn't think of Rick's name either. Pickle Rick. <laughs> the the chat is ahead of the point. Point. If you only give me okay. the question, I could answer that one. It's always the same, isn't oh. it? Yes, but well played. Everybody, yeah. it's been another thrilling round of Geek Lord Overmind. Congratulations to the Elders of Zion again and commiserations to Team Torchwood. We oh. hope you're going to come back next time. Yes, so for now, yet again, <laughs> the Geek Lord Overmind remains with the Elders of Zion. But could you beat them? Do you wish to lay claim to the Overmind, whether you're a Sith or a Jedi? Get in touch, pick a side or rally your own troops stake your claim come and do battle in our arena to claim the geek lord overmind yes <laughs> thank you for, thank you for watching good night everybody. very good